Hey, good morning. It's Wednesday. It's a beautiful day this morning. The sun is out. Yesterday was an absolutely stunning day. I'm listening to the birds singing in my yard. And if I didn't know any better, I think it was just a regular old ordinary spring day. We're days away from, uh, from Easter, but we are here in the middle of this unusual and crazy time with the pandemic going on. We're in the middle of all of this social isolation. We're in the middle of new rules that have been set up to try to keep us separate and try to help the stop of this disease. And so this morning I'm turning to an unusual character that you may not really know a lot about, but he's one of my favorite lesser known characters of the Bible, one of my favorites. His name is Jethro. Now, I'm of the certain age that when you say Jethro, yeah, I think immediately of Jethro Bodine from the Beverly Hillbillies. But then I realized, you know, Jethro's has got a different connotation in, in central Iowa with all of the barbecue places in the Des Moines area that are Jethro's and that maybe you really like to go to Jethro's. But Jethro is the character that I want to focus on, and we meet him in chapter 18 of the book of Exodus. Moses, he is Moses' father-in-law. Jethro gave Moses his first job after he left his comfortable life as being the Pharaoh, Pharaoh's daughter's son, and he was the adopted son, and he realized that what was going on with the Pharaoh, how he was oppressing the Israelites was not right. And as he exited the Pharaoh's house, he also committed a murder on his way. And so Moses is on the run when he meets up with Jethro, and Jethro gives him a job as a shepherd. But when we meet him in Exodus 18, things are changed. Moses has led the people out of out of Egypt and into the freedom of the promise and not to the promised land yet. They're in the middle of the wilderness. And apparently Moses had sent his wife and his two kids to go stay with Jethro until the dust settled. And so the dust has settled. And here we are where Jethro has showed up to bringing the wife and the kids and then he observes what Moses is doing and he hears all about what Moses has been up to and he watches how Moses is hip deep in work, hip deep, and he's not taking any assistance from anybody else. And Jethro says to him, you know what? You need to do some, something differently about this. Now, why in the world would I turn to this particular text in the middle of a time when a lot of you are not working, not doing your usual things? I think that sometimes we get in this place as Iowans, as Midwesterners, where we think that we have to do everything on our own. Everything's got to get done on our own. I mean, we if there's a problem, we've got to solve it. If you're overwhelmed by what's going on in your house, by having all these people around all the time, whether you're taking care of kids, anything like that, you've got to do it all. And, you know, in the middle of social isolation, how in the world does Jethro fit? But I'd like to think that he does. I know that there are so many ways by which we are separated and disconnected, but I know a lot of you are reaching out to your friends, to family members, in whatever way you can, electronically, over the phone, and I urge you to keep on doing that because I know for me, it keeps me grounded. And I believe that what Jethro is telling Moses is, hey, you know what? You can't do this all by yourself. Some people are overwhelmed. I read a little piece by a friend of mine who's a pastor in um, southern Minnesota who said he had a terrible dream. He said that he imagined that his congregation started showing up for Easter worship and he had to send them away. And what they did is then they went across the street and went to a pit bull fight. And he said, you know, I they weren't practicing social distancing and the fight with the dream is crazy, just like everything else. But, you know, check in with yourself if you're having those crazy dreams and you're worried about what's happening and maybe turn back to this guy, Jethro, who says to Moses, you've got to have help. 
You can't do this all by yourself. And the truth is, is that we need one another in the middle of all of this. We need our faith in God, but we need one another in the middle of all this because exactly when at the moment that we need one another and we have to reach out in these kind of crazy ways, we need to recall and remember that we are God's hands and feet in this time and that we have to be that for one another. And we have to remember good old Jethro who said to Moses, you can't do it on your own. Let us know that that's true for us as well, that we can't do it on our own. Turn to friends, turn to whoever you need to, your family members, but remember that you aren't alone. Let us pray. Loving God, in the middle of this crazy time of this pandemic, we ask, oh God, that you would surround us with peace. It's difficult to have peace when the news doesn't seem good any day of the week. It seems almost unrelentingly bad. But let us turn to one another. Let us trust in you. Let us know that you want us to use our best sense and stay safe in the middle of all of this. We pray these things in Jesus' name. And all God's people say, Amen.